Hi, and welcome to another Type With Me. In this application, I want to talk about turn an Angular application into Annex Monorepo. If you have an Angular application with multiple libraries and you want to use Annex, well, then this is the video for you. I'm going to show you how you need to do that and what the attention points are. So first of all, type in ng new my app. Now we're going to use the Angular routing. I'm seeing that you have SCSS and it's going to install all the dependencies, uh, all the packages, right? And we have here our Angular application. You see here that we get a folder for uh, node modules. So that's great. Now we go to the my app folder and we can do ngg from generate uh, lib shared now it's going to add a shared library right and here you see that all the libraries of angular are being put into the project folder um, for the joke i want to add a shared to uh, library again like you know you, we can add multiple libraries here right now we have our application right here and um, i want to add here a shared module come up shared module shared and then the second module I'm going to save it of course and i want to change just the html uh, within a shared component because for now yeah it's a little bit strange it's very small so let's create some better component there right so for one or another reason i want to add here um, this one right i'm going to save it And now I am going to include here my or lip, my lip, and lip share too. I'm going to save it. and let's run it right so what we could do then is go to the package.json and here we can just do something like this npm run start and it will run our angular application all right and then we can go to that url and then we get the following application. You get shared to works, and then we have a username and a password and a login, which is the other, the other uh, components that we want to use there, right? All right. So let's close this and let's run this again. I'm going to say yes.
and he actually changes the structure. You see here what he's doing. Um, he is creating certain things. And then he says, NX DOM enabled computation, caching, and so on. So that's great. But one of the things that you will see here, if we go to app and then we go to, uh, for example, uh, our app modules, you see here that he doesn't understand where he needs to find it. So what we could do now is say here shared and here shared too, because that's actually what we want to have, right? And not that part that we have here in yeah, project, blah, blah, blah. But we want to have shared too as well. Of course, what we now need to do is do um, or go to the package.json. And here you see, for example, that we have npm run um, built. And then I'm going to do shared. Because what I want to do is nx build shared, so that we can build the first one shared. Then we're going to build our second um, one. If you don't provide anything, you will see that you will say, hey, I don't know what to build. So you need to provide something. So we can then do my app is going to build my app then. So here we go. And then we can do npm uh, run start my app. And here we go, we have the app. And then we can go to the URL again. And then you see that it still works and that we can still access the two, um, the two components from the two separate uh, shared um, libraries that we created. Um, of course, these are simple libraries. One of the things that I want would like to do and maybe one of the next videos is creating a service in one library and then use it into another library and see how that intervenes with each other uh, that's something i think would be very cool to do so uh, but actually it already helps to build the multiple libraries and have some kind of a control over there and have the right imports there right so that's already one thing that I think is very cool. So what we learned today, well, we learned how to build a Angular application with multiple libraries um, and we are migrating it or we have learned how to migrate it to Annex. Annex is a very big mono repo solution um, actually from ex Googlers. Uh, and in my opinion, a very cool uh, tool um, sorry to that I didn't um, showed you what Anix could be doing but Anix is the smart mono repos fast CI so Anix is a build system with built-in tooling and advanced CI capabilities it helps you maintain and scale mono repos both locally and on CI so Again, I think a great thing to look further into. Uh, I think when you go to this video, you already know what Anix is, but you just want to have some kind of a video to show you a little bit what it could do and if it is very easy to migrate, right? So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you next time.